hanging out with uh, Alexandria Georgiano. We get a nice uh, oof. <laughs> That's the problem with driving in cinematic mode. You can handle PF guys, PF guns for this height, or we using non PFs <laughs> for what? Uh, so yeah, this shooting thing. What do, what do you mean exactly? What do you mean exactly? Open tall. Right. Are we using PF or non PF guns? PF guns can be used for crime. That's the thing a lot of people don't realize. So we'll be teaching Alexandria, Alexandra, I mean, and all of my viewers about PF guns, non PF guns, and the laws and shit, right? So it's basically an in character and out of character lessons of how basically guns work in character wise and on LSRP. So if you are not quite sure about handguns, I'm not a gun expert. I do own a gun, but it's a blank gun. I mean, it's pretty much a gun, but it doesn't shoot bullets. <laughs> so it's not really a gun, but I know about guns, okay? I know about guns. I'm not an expert. I didn't study in it, but I watched all the YouTube videos and I researched the subject on like uh, all these forums and stuff. And I know how these guns work, how handguns work, and I don't know all the basic stuff. So yeah, I also went to gun range and shot some real guns a couple of times. Yeah, including the guns that I'm about to show. So yeah, pretty pretty knowledgeable, I would say. Knowledgeable enough for a YouTube video. There's one down north too. I don't know. There's uh, like one besides the train track, maybe. I I only know this one. All right. Last time I went here, I got robbed, so that's cool. Pretty warm today. Alright, takes her hoodie off, displaying her Glock 21 in her hip holster, weapon hide 24, hop hop, after you wep do command weapon hide you need to also like, okay opens the back door, tossing the hoodie inside, um, why? Nothing. I can know. Uh, did you, you know it's legal to open carry in San Andreas? <laughs> yeah, that's a big thing. Now, usually we would need permission from the gun store owner. However, the store is open 24 7 and there isn't a clock at any time, so. You just let, let's all play it. <laughs> Alright, uh, I remember now, huh? Ex except uh, Los Santos and near government facil facilities. Anyway, go put your eyes and ears on. Point to the ear protection and eye protection. <laughs> <laughs> so it's well, that's what it is basically. All right, so you can uh, go rent. Okay. All right, so guns, all those small small ear protection things, not small. Big ear muffs that <laughs> go over your head. That's what I'm giving you. Big ear muffs. We don't. We're not fancy. We don't have small ear plugs. We have big ear muffs. Places ear protection over her ears. There you go. So. Can you can you hear me well? Can you hear me well? <laughs> Raises her tone. Guns are really loud. As you're about to find out. 
maybe outside it's not as bad but inside you could get permanent uh, damage to your hearing without ear protection <laughs> Alright, so, you're about to apply for PF, right? Or you have already? Indeed. Hold on. You, you mind uh, if I record this? <laughs> Actually, yeah, I think this could make a nice, uh, like a, like a tutorial video. Hold on, I'm gonna grab my camera. Fortunately, I need to have the vehicle unlocked to take the gun camera out. It's annoying. Like, the engine has to be on and the vehicle has to be unlocked, so it can be stolen. So if you have a guns in the trunk, that's that's too bad. Right. Uh, begins recording on... Not showing anyone, right? I wanted to make, like, a public tutorial video, if you don't mind. It's good, it's a good courtesy to ask people if they want to be recorded first. I mean, sure, I have the right to record her, but, eh, you know, she might get angry. Right. Begins recording. Uh, grabs, uh, <laughs> arranges some rocks on the ground to aim the camera slightly upwards at Alexandra. And for some reason, you need to crouch to drop your gun, which is annoying, especially with the camera, because you can't crouch with the camera, so you have to scroll away to drop it. There you go. There we go. Alright, so this is in character video now. Hello. Hello, everyone. This is Michelle. I'm with Alexandria today at a gun range. Alexandria, Alexandra, oh, yeah, Alexandra, I keep misspelling her name, and Michelle are wearing ear protection. Now, Alexandra has recently applied for a PF, and interestingly enough, there is no required training for her. No safety classes, no nothing. So, Alexandra, uh, can you can you tell me about your overall experience with firearms? So this, is, this is actually interesting. You know, I'm treating this as if this was an actual county. I mean, now that I always thought that laws in LSRP were really strict, but looking at real laws in California, they're not actually as strict as they are there, which is actually surprising for me. Well, I aimed the firearm once a few months ago. He just, just aimed it. Was it a shotgun range? I was allowed to fire a few rounds. Okay. Did, did the shotgun uh, have sights? I know, I know some shot. Guns don't have sights. Yeah, I, sh I actually shot a shotgun at the gun range. It did not have sights. That was kind of pretty fun. This was just a normal shotgun, Michelle. So... <laughs> that doesn't really, ans really <laughs> answer my questions. Question. Was it a pump? Automatic? Uh... Two barreled. <laughs> Shotguns exist existed for a thousand. Oh, uh, not thousands. <laughs> oh my god, I'm actually going brain dead. That's, well, you remember when I said I wasn't an expert? Okay, All right. Do you know about the. I'm gonna do a finishing statement first. Uh, do you know about the safety rules? 
I'm going to put put my ah, can I can I have my head like down like that? Okay, perfect. I just wanted my head to not be not too much. I know the basics. All right. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What do you know about them? What do you know about gun safety? Let me hear it. Let me hear it. And you can't see because it's blending in, but I have a gun on my hip. Actually, I meant to, but I don't. Now I do, okay. Oh, it's because I put the camera down. I, I didn't. It's kind of blending in. Black Glock blends in very well. Well, first of all, I keep safety on at all times unless in danger or, or firing. It's uh, really up to debate, honestly. Per personally. <laughs> so, in cell. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Hold on. I I'm. I'm <laughs> Oh shit, there's someone driving past. Oh, there's a taxi. Okay. As long as he doesn't stop and try to rob us. Firearms should not be unloaded but not in use. Should be unloaded but not in use. Sounds like specific gun range rules. Uh, is that all? <laughs> okay. Um. How about not specific to the gun range? How uh, do do you think all of those rules apply in general at any time? Uh, involving a firearm, obviously. Specifically, the protection one. So, if you're carrying a firearm for protection, if you have concealed carry weapons, you won't always have earmuffs on. <laughs> okay. Alright, so about the safety thing, personally, it feels like another unnecessary step between uh between you <laughs> preventing you from being able to protect yourself and this uh, this state enforces enough of those in my opinion For example, you're not you're not allowed to carry with a bullet chambered. Do you, do you know what that means? So I'm just getting a gist of what she knows about firearms. And by the way, I must note that um, knowledge of your character doesn't have to reflect your knowledge. So if you don't know something, or if you behave in a certain way, that doesn't mean your character has to behave in the same way. If your character behaves dumb, that doesn't mean you're dumb. That just means you have a, a dumb character, and maybe that's what you wanted. Yep, that means the gun has to be unloaded and chambered empty. So that means you waste some time, that you could save some time cocking your weapon. Nodding her head. Nice! Alright, so one very important safety, no, two very important safety, actually, actually three, <laughs> three very important safety rules you haven't mentioned. Um, number one, never point your weapon, okay, you know, what? number one is always treat a weapon as if it was loaded even l l let me demonstrate something you you got you got your ears on faces the range 
draws uh, her Glock 21, keeping her finger off the trigger. She aims it down range. I'm going to fire three uh, bullets, then I'll e eject the magazine. This charges the gun three times. Deafening <laughs> sound would be produce, produced and heard for miles. <laughs> My voice acting is on point. Uh, keeps aim down range. Now, that was loud. Mm -hmm. Now watch. Do you know uh, how to eject the magazine? Okay, someone else is driving past. There's a button on the handle, right? Yep. Where is it? Tell, don't show. <laughs> You know, like show and tell, but you don't show, so <laughs> just tell. <laughs> I'm getting a hang of this American uh, ling lingo thing. Yeah, <laughs> maybe not quite. I <laughs> uh, also love how this Glock has only seven bullets. It's, it was originally a Desert Eagle, by the way. Originally in the game, it's a Desert Eagle. I replaced it with a Glock because cops use it. Because it's the only weapon that does any real damage, and it's the only weapon you can really hold with two hands. The other one being a silenced pistol. I think it's like right behind the trigger. On the side. It's on the side. It's on the left side, I think it is. Look. Beckons uh, Alexa Xandra to her left. Like who? I'm, I nod my head over. I can see Michelle shows Alexandra the gun as she keeps it aimed down range. Right. Presses the eject button. The magazine still with bullets in it pops out poops <laughs> no pops out <laughs> ooh, ew ew i don't ever want to misspell poop pops <laughs> uh places the magazine on the table now let me ask you this is the gun loaded That's what I like to do with, uh, well, when I come to a gun range, uh, imaginary gun range. I don't do this in a real gun range because I'm not really trusted with real firearms. <laughs> Probably for a good reason. <laughs> Dude, this is a sick thumbnail though. Look at this. I just need to have her head forwards and her head like to the side. Like, uh... <gasps> I know, she, her head moves way too quickly for that. Like, look at that. It's ridiculous. It's unloaded, although... Treated like it's still loaded. So you say it's unloaded. I'm just gonna do this. I think this is better. Yeah, this is way better. Look at this. Hell yeah. Uh, just a little bit back and forward. Just like that, perfect. Okay. So if I... Unless you have a bullet in the chamber, but didn't uh, you say it was unloaded? Pulls the trigger. Boom! 
it doesn't seem unloaded to me. <laughs> Bullets out of where? You had the the right idea. Uh, the magazine is there to feed the chamber. If you extract the magazine, the chamber won't be fed anymore. You know what? I'm gonna make Michelle say clip. Even though I know it's mag and not clip, if you extract the clip, the chamber will be fed anymore. But there was still a bullet in it. Mm hmm. The gun, the, the, the slide would lock back. Also, notice uh, how the slide locked back. <laughs> That's what happens. It means it's unloaded, used that use shelves from that opening. Sometimes there are failures. Not that many on uh, on on this kind of pistol. Can you I identify this pistol? <laughs> Brand. <laughs> Glock is really popular, even though it's pretty shit. But hey, it's popular. <laughs> I mean, it's it's durable though. It's durable. You gotta give it that. It's a Glock. I can see. Mhm. Mm you know the caliber, the exact name. Fifty. 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 Cal Glock. Oh my God. <laughs> this this is a desert eagle. Oh my god. Alright. <laughs> Slips uh, the, sl uh, the magazine back into the magwell, I think that's what it's called. Uh, releasing the slide with her thumb. Click. Maybe PD should really give training then, eh? Mm hmm. Instead, instead of charging us ten grand for jack shit. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, fifty cal, fifty cal Glock. That's that's just. Uh, th this this one is uh, 0 0.45 ACP. Although majority are in nine millimeter. millimeter. This one is a slightly bigger caliber. Anyway, back to safety rules. Slots her unchamber. Oh, it's a uh, chamber now. Slots her Glock in her holster. Hold up. Okay. Alright, so. We learned uh, that you should treat the weapon as if it's loaded. Now, if I have a weapon out, where do I point it? Center of <laughs> uh, Okay. <laughs> so I I mean I mean when I'm not shooting it. I mean if you're danger, if you're not in a safe location. 
what would be a safe direction? W would sky be a safe direction? Away from populated areas. <laughs> so at some hill billies. <laughs> you said away from popu populated areas. <laughs> Jesus cycle quit testing me on DMs. God damn, he, he's giving me some sort of a voiceover gig. I wonder why my voice is uh, 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 on point. I wonder why he wants to get my gig. Jesus, guys, that voice was atrocious. I just lost 500 subscribers. Still the sky. But at an angle, still the sky. Shakes her head. No. Doesn't fly at you? At you? Maybe not. At an innocent child? Yes. And let me tell you. You don't want that. Maybe... Okay, where do I shoot? <laughs> we're, we're talking... Well, hold on, hold on, hold on. We're, we're talking about pointing things. Not shooting things. <laughs> Okay. Alright. Draws her gun. Aiming it down range. Well, in a gun range. Turns uh, her gun. Keeping it aimed down range. No matter what you do. Always keep it down range. Not in the sky, not at the ground even. However, if you're out of the range, just keep it pointed at the ground, at the threat, or if the threat is dealt with, put it in your holster. Note where he keeps her finger on uh, no, <laughs> on the trigger guard. Is that is that the right term on the trigger guard? If 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 you're at the range, you have somewhere to point it. If you're not on the range, you don't necessarily do this is what you do you make sure you're facing a direction where there aren't any people and you aim it at 45 degrees down uh, sword so something like that this way, if the gun was to go off, which it won't unless you pull the trigger like an idiot, <laughs> it won't hurt anyone. And that's generally what you're aiming for. Also, you only want to hurt someone specific who is actively threatening your or your loved one's safety and nobody else all right that could mistakes here could cost you a life sentence Which is pretty true. Alright. So. 
where uh, where do you keep your tr when do you put your f okay when you're not aiming at a threat when you're aiming at a threat uh, how do I phrase this question where do you keep your when do you keep your trigger finger on the trigger actually l let me rephrase <laughs> rephrase I didn't prepare okay rephrase let me rephrase what do you do with your finger when you're not <laughs> aiming at a threat where do you keep it? I hear someone driving around. Someone could really sneak up on me. On the handle? No. Above the trigger. Off the trigger. On the tr on the trigger guard. If you keep your finger on the... Well, then tell me in details. Just anywhere... Like, is the gun loaded, safety on, off? The gun should... Oh, in my opinion... The gun is useless unless it's ready to fire. I never use safeties. I only need the safety rules. The safe the safeties will only increase the time that it takes for me to draw and shoot my gun. And that could mean the difference between life or death. So, it's really basic. Finger off the trigger unless you're ready to fire. That's the, that's the second rule. Or the third one. Yeah, the, the second one was pointing it in a safe direction so what so did you get that did you get that so what are the three rules in uh, no specific order <laughs> so yeah i guess this is uh, so after chance of this, I'm gonna go into other character. I don't usually do this, but because there are rules surrounding PF, one is aiming in that safe direction. Okay, because there are rules surrounding PF license that could get you banned and permanently blacklisted from getting PF license again. I am going to stop here and actually talk. Treat, tre treat, treat, treat. Is that how it's spelled? Whatever. Treat the gun like it's loaded. Okay. One is aiming at the safe direction, and honestly, you know, it told me first, second, third, so I don't know. What's the last rule? I, I just, I just told you. Come on, you got this, come on. Keeping the finger off the trigger, what's so hard? Just don't point the finger on your trigger, unless you're ready to shoot. We you keeping finger when you're ready to fire? Keep finger, keep your finger of the trigger unless you're ready to fire not when you don't put quiz <laughs> do you put your finger on the trigger 
when you see a potential threat and aim at it. Yes, it's a vague question, but it's, a, it's also a trick question. Give me a situation. Okay. Uh, so, for this situation, why don't we break out some toy guns? Sure, sure. Let me get the toy guns. Trunk takes out two fully orange colored Glock replicas. Okay. Passes one to Alexandra. Alright. Put it in your... You got a belt? Alright, so I don't think I can give her. Uh, I'm going to try though. I'm going to try to give her the item. Yeah, it's factionistic. Okay, I'll just put it on. Just uh, slip it in like like your Mexican carrying. Mexican carrying. Mexican carrying, am I right? <laughs> okay, let's go. Let's let's get off the public road. <laughs> That's a good idea. So we don't draw the, any attention. All right. So slips her. Uh, replica Glock into her hoodie pocket. Alright, so take a few steps back and we'll pretend that you're just trying to get to your car in a parking lot. And I'm pass, and I'm blocking your path. All right. Ignore, ignore my real gun. <laughs> it's it's out of the game. All right, ready? Should probably do it from the camera. Oh shit, my camera despawned. Fucking hell! All right. Let's uh, do it in front of the camera. Okay, you know what? Picks the camera up. Blocking the car is not really a threat, is it? Shrugs. I don't know. Decide yourself. Positions the camera so it films Alexandra and her surroundings. Clears her throat. <coughs> yeah. Got some change. Slips her hand into her hoodie pocket. No, I don't change, get lost. What the hell? <laughs> Clocks don't have safety. <laughs> don't have external safeties. Like they have like a, uh, a trigger safety. Laces her hands up. What the fuck? Girl, you tripping. Reaching? It was cold. Hey, somebody. This woman has a gun.
Call the police. <laughs> whoop whoop! That's the sound of the police. And now I'm a police officer. Can you keep your hands up? Can you say hands aimed uh, with that gun? Let's pretend a cop went up behind you. So, do you want me <laughs> to act uh, like a realistic cop? Or according uh, to the guidelines? Because <laughs> uh, those are two different <laughs> things. <laughs> realistic. Okay. Bang, bang. Suspect down, send Hocus, <laughs> send Coroners. <laughs> but that's incorrect, Michelle. Ah, <laughs> uh, ah, uh, so 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 naive. <laughs> oh my God! How long? How long are you in the last? You seriously think cops see someone aiming a gun at someone and they won't immediately open fire? Cops kill children here that refuse to drop BB guns. Okay, let's say I'm blocking your way or whatever. She lost the replica. No, 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 no. Hold on. Before before we do that, let's uh, go back to that situation, and I'll act like a cop would if they followed procedures. So go back to your position. <laughs> okay, let's go. <laughs> Alright. Oh, oh fuck, I forgot that's this in the RCRP. I gotta remove all these commands. Aims at Alexandra. Drop the gun! LSPD. <laughs> Drop it now! Guess what happens uh, to the girl that you were detaining? What? She runs off. And the cops don't chase her. Now hit the ground. <laughs> On your stomach, now. <laughs> Oh my god, this is too real. <laughs> Alright, then they pin you and then they question you. Let's uh, let's pretend that you're you'd spend hours in in the back of a cop car then you'd be in an investigation room talking to a detective that is if you didn't get arrested immediately for <laughs> brandishing Alright. To be honest, I went along with your plan. Shh. 
I did I did I I'll we'll get to that. We'll get to that after the scene. We haven't finished the scene. So let's pretend that I'm a detective. Cause she didn't go along my plan. I didn't tell her to immediately point a gun at someone who is just blocking your path, just asking for something, yeah? Clears her throat. <clears throat> Miss Alex Miss Alex? That's all I know that's all I know of her name anyway. Oh yeah, I'll know she's like Alexandra, whatever. What happened that day? And I'm gonna talk to her like real detectives talk to you on LSRP. I should really upload all these times that detectives talk to me. I came so close to getting arrested for so many charges and I've been dodging them and dodging them and dodging them. I really don't have intentions for this character to be a criminal. This is actually insane how my character does not have any criminal charges on her. But she she hasn't been committed crimes like but like this corruption, so yeah. So basically this woman walked up to me, she started talking to me, she was in my way, I'm going to the car, it was pretty dark, it was pretty quiet down here. I told her to leave, I didn't want to talk to her. She had to reach into her hood pocket where she could easily stash a knife or a deadly weapon. So I pull up my weapon and aim at her. So she put her hand into her pocket and you aim a gun at her. Yes, in case she pulls out anything dangerous harmful, since I just told her to leave. Do you have a gun license? <laughs> Indeed, why didn't you identify as a license holder when the officers contacted you? That's already grounds for revocation. I'd like to comply and get shot for stalling. Oh, it's it's a simple sentence. I'm a license holder. What is there to stall? Also, can you really explain to me what did the woman do that made you pull? Right now I'm in character as a detective. Keep it in character. Roleplay within roleplay, hell yeah. <laughs> um, so, I believe that you, so you were not present with a threat, in my opinion. Why didn't you walk away? Since I told her to move out of my way, I was walking to my car. You drew a gun immediately. Then she reached into her pocket. Now only after she reached. Alright, so, I think... So, 
So why didn't you call 911 or walk away? What was preventing you from walking away? You immediately, you immediately, because it happened in a split second. What? She put her hands in her pockets. She reached there just basically after telling me so. Putting your hands in a po in your pocket isn't isn't a threat. If you didn't see a deadly weapon, there's no reason to fear for your life. I'm going to charge you <laughs> with a felony brandishing your firearm in public and your permanently banned from getting a PF or a CCW again. Enjoy prison. Now, let's go out of character and I'll explain what you did wrong. <laughs> For starters, <laughs> you moved <laughs> into Los Santos. The worst place to get a gun license. Yes. That too. But you... Yeah, that too. So... So, try, try the same scenario on me, I suppose. slots her gun into her hole into her uh hoodie pocket bb gun uh no replica replica gun this is some nice it's just some nice role play that i do sometimes where we make a video this is all in character video as well except my commentary of course all right so i'm walking to my car Examines Alexandra casually slipping her hands into her pocket. That's close enough. Takes a step back. Get out of my way. Get away. Keeps Stepping back, gripping the uh, replica gun. I just want some change, eh? Get away from me or I'll call the police. Observes her surroundings. Because after that, you know, you get sniped immediately. Hey, no police. So you're leaving then? Michelle didn't draw nothing. Alexandra wouldn't see a gun yet. Michelle just gripped it in her hoodie. Yeah, I just gripped it. I didn't draw it. I didn't pull it out. See, another thing. Me's can be sometimes confusing. You gotta try to do the script of me's, but... <laughs> she, she really ran. So, what do you think? Have I taught you? You did the wrong thing. What did... What... I should... I did the wrong thing, I should have just not aiming. You gotta pick your time to aim. If you were in Texas, laws would have been more lenient on you. However, you picked the wrong state for self-defense. Here, unless someone is 
actively trying to kill you, you can't draw a gun. So you have to try to get a strategic advantage. Hope this uh, hope this helps you, and hope this helps the audience. Thank you, Alex, for participating. And remember, stay safe, stay educated.